This craft project is from the pages of my children's book about grief and loss. Lulu faces loss and finds encouragement. You can find the written instructions in the project right in the back of the book, right here. It's available on amazon.com in both English and Spanish or through my website, danicatheartist.com. Hi, I'm Danica, nice to meet you. You know, when you're feeling sad, angry, or lonely, sometimes it's because of difficult things in your life. If you feel sad, angry, or lonely about things that have happened, I'll bet there's someone close to you friend, a family member, or maybe even a teacher who also feels sad, angry, or lonely. Sometimes the best way to help yourself feel happy is to help someone else feel happy too. There's a word for that, encouragement. Do you know what that means? I wrote a children's book all about encouraging others. It's called Lulu Faces Loss and Finds Encouragement. The teacher in that book says, that encouragement is a way to share hope and help strengthen someone on the inside. People who are sad or sick need lots of encouragement. When you encourage someone, you help them to smile, even when it's hard. Hmm. In the book, the main character, Lulu, makes a fun art project to help encourage her grandma, who's very sick. The encouragement flowers didn't magically make her grandma all better. But know what? When Lulu gave Grandma her encouragement flowers, it showed Grandma that Lulu loved her so much and that she was there to support her when she was feeling down. Who do you know who needs encouragement flowers? Take a minute to think of somebody. You got it? Let's make these flowers together, just for them. For this next part, we'll need two sheets of paper. I'm just using white printer paper. We'll need tape. <laughs> Here's my little kitty one. You'll need markers, whatever colors you'd like. And you'll also need four pipe cleaners or chenille stems. I chose to use green because they're standing in for flower stems. So I used the green just like flower stems. You'll also need tissue paper. You can use any color you'd like. I'm choosing green as well to symbolize grass. I have two colors of green. You'll also use scissors. So if you're not allowed to use scissors by yourself, make sure you ask an adult to help you. We'll be painting on this. It's a flower pot, pot and it's orange because it's made out of terracotta, which is a special type of clay. So this one is about mm, four inches across. You can use one as small as three inches up to six inches. You'll also need a rock that's big enough to fit inside the pot. Have you ever traced your hand? That's what we're gonna do to make these flowers. Pull up your sleeve and then take a marker and use one hand to trace around the other. If this is difficult, you can ask an adult to help you. Once you've traced all four hands, you can decorate them however you want using markers. In the book, Lulu uses a simple design. She just puts a heart, a red heart, right in the middle. That's what I'll do, because I like how Lulu did it. You can do it however you'd like. Once you've decorated as much as you like, now we can cut out the hands. Be really careful when you go inside the fingers. Once you have these four cut out, grab your pipe cleaners and flip all your hands to the back. This is where you use your tape as well. Get one piece of tape and tape one end to the palm of the hand. We use two pieces to make sure it's strong. Now notice I didn't tape it to the edge of the hand. That's because the hand needs a little bit of support to make sure it stands straight up like a flower. See that? It's so beautiful. Do that for all four of the hands. All right, taking your rock, wrap the other end of the pipe cleaner around the bottom. So I'm gonna do this by making that hand stand up. I'll wrap it around like this. Sometimes it might help if you bend that wire around like this. You can twist it a couple times to make sure it stands up. Take your second hand, and maybe wrap it from behind so that there's a little bit of room in between them. Wrap and twist. Take your third one, wrap it 
just like the first one from the front. Wrap and twist. It's okay if they start falling down because they'll be propped up once they fall, once they go into the flower pot. And the last one. If it helps, you can tape the pipe cleaners to the rock at the bottom so that they stay put. There we go. This craft project is from the pages of my children's book about grief and loss. Lulu faces loss and finds encouragement. You can find the written instructions in the project right in the back of the book, right here. Next, let's paint the flower pots. You'll need paints. You can use acrylic or tempera or washable. I chose to use the colors red, yellow, blue, and white, but you can use whatever you want. You'll also need a paintbrush, paper towel, and a cup of water. Let's get painting. Hold the pot like this so it's on its side. You can paint whatever you want on this, but I like to think about what would encourage someone on the inside. Maybe a sunshine that makes me feel strong on the inside and happy. Maybe you can paint the person's favorite color. Maybe it's red or blue. You can mix purple by doing red and blue. Mixing that together makes purple. Maybe you can paint a picture of their favorite food or favorite animal, something that will make them smile. I think I'm gonna do a sunshine. I'll start with yellow. When you want to change the color of your brush, go ahead and wash your brush in the water and dab it on the paper towel. I'll use the next, the next color, red. I'll turn my, turn my flower pot and I'm gonna make some flowers. My grandma loved flowers. I think that's why I wrote the grandma in the book to love flowers too, just like my grandma. I'm making flowers by using short strokes going around in a circle, kind of like the sun, except they're closer together. You can also paint words. Do you see this? I love you, and I'll paint grandma. I also painted hearts all the way around. Decorate however you want. And when you're done, go ahead and set it aside to dry. Be careful though, the paint might still be wet. Well done. Now let's put it all together. First, make sure your flower pot is dry before this step. Then carefully put the flowers attached to the rock inside the flower pot. Do it carefully so nothing bends. Now take one sheet of tissue paper and crumple it up with your fingers, just like this. Nestle it into the pot so that it covers the rock. You can add another sheet or two of tissue paper until you think it looks just perfect. Well done! Next, it's your turn to give your encouragement flowers to the person you made them for. Watch for their smile when they see what you made them. Remember, sometimes the best way for you to feel happy again is to help encourage someone else. Thanks for creating with me! This craft project is from the pages of my children's book about grief and loss. Lulu faces loss and finds encouragement. You can find the written instructions in the project right in the back of the book, right here. It's available on amazon.com in both English and Spanish or through my website, danicatheartist.com.